Good morning, everybody. I have made it to Vegas. Mom, do you want to say hello? Hi. <laughs> We're in Vegas. My flight was great. It got delayed, which I was a little bit bummed about. But otherwise, I was nervous about Frontier. But they were great. It was nice. We had the funniest um, flight attendant. He was very nice. And yeah, so I got to watch the sunset, which was like a blessing in a later flight. I was like, okay, at least there's a cute view of the sunset. Um, but we woke up this morning, and now we're gonna go to Jazzercise. <laughs> if you guys are in the Salt Lake area and want to take a Jazzercise class, just hit up my mom. Jazzercise.com. Just hit up Jazzercise.com <laughs> and find your class. But yeah, we are going to do that. And then today's just going to be a chill day. We are going to watch Queer Eye tonight, <laughs> which I'm so excited about. And yeah, I'll continue to take you all through the day, but I just wanted to kind of recap from yesterday. The flight went well. I was nervous about it, but all set. We've been watching a little bit of Queer Eye. I have my swim on. Oh, sorry. No, you're okay. And Doodles is already in the pool. Say hello. Hello. Yeah, we're gonna sit out here for a bit. I have my sunscreen on my face. <laughs> I need to put it on the rest of my body. Queer Eye is so good. We watched two episodes. We're gonna chill by the pool for a little bit, then probably head to the store. And yeah, today is looking like nothing but lounging, which is exactly what I wanted out of this trip. So we're gonna keep doing that. Not much else to update on, um, update you guys on, but it'll be fun. I'm excited to just sit out, get some sun, but also protection. Did you wear sunscreen? Doodles, get your sunscreen on. You're crazy. Crazy. Have fun having me around. You did. You know that. <laughs> Love you. Hello everyone, it's been a couple days later. I got home from Vegas. Hopefully you guys like a little bit of the clips that I filmed. I truly just did nothing. Like we watched Queer Eye and sat by the pool and like that's it. And that was the best thing that could have happened to me this weekend. It was just so great. So great to see my mom, my little sister. Um, and yeah, just like do nothing you know it's like sometimes great um but then I came home to the hottest house in the world and also I may have accidentally clogged our kitchen sink <laughs> and so we were just living in like the most disgustingly hot house with like rotten food coming out of our sink which is so disgusting but like truly that is what had happened um and so it's just been like massively hot and yesterday I literally had to walk around tar I went to Target I went to home goods and I went to Barnes and Noble just to like pass the time because I couldn't be in this house it was insanely hot um, but it's all fixed and I feel so much better um, I'm just so thankful that <laughs> we have AC it's something that like you so take for granted um, but yeah tonight we are going to the real game um, that is a soccer team here local to us in Utah and I'm very excited. Sebastian's like co-workers have a suite so we get like all the food and a good seat. I'm not the biggest soccer player fan um, but when it's free food and like I don't know fun people I'm down to go but so yeah I'm gonna kind of get ready for that because I am not ready for the day. I have a little bit of makeup but probably like zhuzh myself up a little bit. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of give a recap because I didn't film a lot in Vegas. So we're just doing the weekly vlog today, but yeah. Thank you very much. Did you see my rainbow cake? Hi everyone, it is Thursday now and I'm just uploading a video that I hope you guys enjoyed um, but and I also posted the book that I'm reading for August and someone reached out to me and was like hey you should share your favorite books and I realized that I haven't done a book review I did one um, previously and I thought I would do another because I've still been reading a book a month sometimes I read two um, it's been going great and I've been reading some awesome books so I thought I'd share them I look a little bit scary I'm having a bit of like a dizzy spell I don't know have you guys ever experienced feeling very dizzy today it's very weird um, 
So I thought I'd just dive in. If you guys watched my current like summer favorites, you've already heard about this book, so I will keep it pretty brief. But this is Little Fires Everywhere, and this is a novel, and I absolutely, absolutely loved it. I loved the character involvement in this story. I loved the overlapping, intertwining storyline of all the characters. Um, I just love this book. It was so good. I read it so fast um, and I definitely recommend it to anybody. It made me cry at the end. I didn't think it was going to make me cry. Yeah, I love this book. If I don't make any sense, it's because I'm not feeling good. Um, but I wanted to talk about these books. So, and just in like a more casual way rather than like a huge book review. Um, then after I read that book, then I read um, Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. <sighs> I loved this book. Um, this one I wanted to read because it was on Reese Witherspoon's book club and I really liked the books that she recommends. Um, I didn't like this as much as I liked Little Fires Everywhere. This one is a little bit of a slower read, like in my mind. It was pretty slow. Um, but I love it. It's such a sweet novel and the two characters in it, I won't like spoil anything, but the two characters in it, oh I can say something, it's on the back. <laughs> I always like to make sure. Um, the two characters um, that become friends, like it's just such a sweet friendship and it was a nice refreshing book to read about friendship and life and getting over things and um, I just, yeah, I just loved it and just like emotions and how people deal with them. Uh, so it was such a sweet read. I know I've said that probably eight times, but yeah, this was one of my favorite. Not as good as Little Fires Everywhere, but still I really enjoyed reading this. Um, and then currently I'm actually reading two books at the same time, which I normally don't do that, um, but I will explain why. The first book that I started, um, this is Half the Sky, and it says Turning Oppression into Opportunity for Women Worldwide. And this is a great book. I heard about this book through following Sophia Bush. I love her. Um, I love anything that she recommends, especially like reading. Um, so this is based off of a true story about women that just like unfortunately get um, involved with like sex trafficking and it's just like a very heavy read but I think it's very important to read about so that's why I'm trying my best to get through it um, but yeah some of the stories are very heavy and I find myself almost sometimes like afraid to open the book which is horrible because I shouldn't be afraid of this topic I should want to learn and educate myself um, but sometimes it's hard it's really sad to read about these women and so I'm reading that and I do really love it even though it talks about like topics that are pretty hard and difficult to talk about they do it in such a delicate way um, where you do like find yourself wanting to continue to turn the page and learn more and read about these women uh, so I definitely recommend this if you're looking for something that kind of pushes the boundaries a little bit and you want to learn about something it's a great book and then at the same time just to make me laugh a little bit and as a little bit of a lighter read um, I'm reading Tan France Naturally Tan so this is like his memoir sort of book um, and my mom this is her copy and she lent it to me <laughs> so I'm reading this right now and I love it it's such an easy read I love reading about people um, if you've seen my book reviews and you know that's kind of the genre that I go to is a lot of books like this um, but I've been reading so many novels that I'm like obsessed with novels now uh, but yeah it's nice to go back to this these kinds of books I love reading before I go to bed it's just a light-hearted book um, especially in comparison to Half the Sky. So these two are what I'm reading right now and they've been so wonderful. Um, I will leave these down below if you guys want to pick up any. Let me know what you guys are reading because it's so fun. Especially in the summer, it's fun to read. It's also fun to read in the fall. I don't know, it's just like, it's something to look forward to and I have been so proud of myself that I'm keeping up with that goal. Um, yeah, so that, what am I doing today? Because I don't feel good. I'm spooked out that I'm so dizzy. I just, I don't know. I ran into, which I don't think is why, but I came home from work because I wasn't really feeling well. And I was walking down the hallway and I kind of ran into like the doorway. And ever since then, I've been dizzy. And it feels like I just got off a roller coaster and it, like stuff like this freaks me out when I don't feel well inside. Um, freaks me out. But anyway sitting on my floor. I have to get ready because, I mean, I was ready today, but I just took, like, I've been laying down and my makeup's off and yada yada. Um, but we are going to our counseling, coaching, marriage session. Um, we've been really loving those and we love the woman that we're working with and it's just been nice to, like, really, like, work on our marriage and 
It's just silly to think that everything's going to be fine all the time. Excuse me. Um, that's going to be fine all the time and um, yeah. So hopefully that goes well. I'll probably check up with you guys when we get back. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go finish up my video and hopefully kind of rest a little bit and then we'll be off to our coaching session. Hi guys, we are back home now and oh my gosh, look at the comparison of our skin. I know, I'm dark. I need to do myself tanner. Um, yeah, we just came back from our coaching, marriage therapy, whatever you want to call it. And I thought I would just give a quick one rundown of how it was. We love her. The first time we went, we came there with a problem. Um, we'd gotten into a pretty big fight and um, yeah, we just went to her with like a legit problem. I'm trying not to shake the camera, so hopefully it's not shaking. But this time, um, and we loved her the first time. Like she helped us, she gave us great tips. <laughs> and then the second time, uh, we just went today and I was nervous of how it would feel because we're in such a good space, but we still came out with something to work on, which I think shows a lot of how much like we trust her and how good she is at like picking out areas in our life where we can work a little bit harder for each other. Um, so yeah, I literally love her. If you guys are in Salt Lake, she told me to give referrals. So if you guys are in Salt Lake, just leave me a comment and we'll get in touch. But how'd you feel about it? Okay. okay. I felt like it was um, necessary. Uh huh. I feel like everyone should do this. And I feel like we're learning a lot about ourselves. Yeah. Like you're recognizing yourself how? I don't know. I feel like when we fight now we, I feel like I look at the principles she's been teaching us and I'm thinking how can I avoid a fight with Carly? Mm -hmm. And it's working out pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. She's giving us great like achievable things to work on and would you recommend it to people? Yeah. You said, huh? Yeah. We would totally recommend. So yeah. I thought we'd just do a quick recap of our night. Now Sasha's going to work out. I'm going to take a bath. I'm so excited and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. We are off to the gym. And I'm wearing Sebastian's shirt, so I'm a little nervous. Hi. Hi, baby. Hello. Is your graves? Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Do I look cute? You look so cute. Hi, right, is that my shirt? <laughs> yeah. Carly. I needed it. No, babe. Right, you, go. you don't even sweat that much. Yeah. And I'll wash it. <laughs> we are off to the gym on this Friday night. Let's do this. I don't really want to do this, but I'm feeling good. I've been in the house. So let's go. Right. It's hot in here. Is it? Yeah. It is Saturday afternoon and it is deep cleaning day. We are going through all of our covers um, to get ready to move. Um, oh, I know you're talking to me. No. It just feels really good. We have so many piles. Um, all of our. I love buying <laughs> um, wrapping paper. Anybody else? Or is it just me? And lots of donating piles. Um, yeah, like I said, we are getting ready because at the end of the month, at the end of August, we are moving. We're out of here. So it feels good to like finally go through these cabinets that we've just literally never looked at. It's so bad. Um, but yeah, it feels good. We're finding things that we know we're not going to use. And I look atrocious, but it is what it is. Hope you guys are having a great day. We're gonna continue cleaning home. Together forever, five, four, nine, ten. Yeah, baby. 